Hey everyone, James Brandon here, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use Mask Pro from On One's new Perfect Photo Suite 6. Uh, this is an image I took in Rome recently, and as you can see, there were no clouds to speak of in the sky. And what I want to do here is replace the sky with an image that has some uh, clouds in it. So what I've already done is I went over to Photo Frame and found an image of clouds that I wanted to use, this image right here. So I'm going to create a mask inside of Mask Pro to create a um, selection around the Colosseum here, which will then take the sky away and reveal the clouds underneath it. This would be fairly easy to do inside of Photoshop just by um, you know creating a mask and adding some uh, or using uh, light levels to remove the sky because it's a pretty simple sky. There's not much going on. But you might not have Photoshop, and you might not understand how easy it is to do inside of Mask Pro either. And with the new um, additions and changes that they've made with this newest version, it is incredibly easy. So I'm going to go over to uh, Mask here, which is Mask Pro. And now that we're inside of Mask Pro, I'm going to go over here to the tool panel and they have these new brushes that you can use. And you have a brush here, a keep and drop brush. This is, or this is a keep brush on top rather, and this is the drop brush, the eraser tool. And to erase the sky, all you have to do is start at one end of the sky. And I'm just going to draw a line through it. And it's going to use the information along that line as a means of creating a mask to fill in um, and bring in the sky from underneath. And there you go. I mean, it, it's really that easy. It was quick and painless, and I have a pretty decent mask right off the bat. So now in these little sections right here where there's no way it could have you know, gotten into because of the separation, you just draw some uh, more lines to get a base there that you can work with later. And as you can see in this one, there's some issues. In this one, it looks like there's probably some so now what we need to do, um, and you can also see in the bars here that it's kind of messed up along those edges there and taken some of that out. So now we need to refine the mask and make it perfect. It's already good, but we need to take it to that next level and make it perfect. So I'm going to go over here back to the tool panel and there's a brush right here with a little star on it and that's called the magic brush. So with my inspector open, I'm going to come down here to my painting mode and go to auto right there. And all right, so that's done. So what I need to do now is create some colors for the magic brush to sample from. And that's what these two eyedroppers here are for. So you have a keep eyedropper and a drop eyedropper. So what I want to keep is the parts of the Coliseum here. I'm going to hit command plus. To zoom in a little bit here, you also have a navigator up here that I can scroll down and I can just grab this and move around the image freely that way too. So with the keep eyedropper selected, I'm going to sample some parts here. Just make sure that you know I have most of the colors involved selected here. I'm going to be really careful here and try to select the bars. And you can see these colors adding up over here in the keep panel. So now I'm going to come over to my drop eyedropper and I'm just going to take a few samples of the sky here. I don't have to do a lot. And it, actually they look all the same and they may be, but um, so now I'll come back to the magic brush. I'm going to use the brackets to make this brush a little smaller and making sure that auto is still selected in the paint mode. I'll just go ahead and start brushing through this and you can see just like that, how easily I've refined this mask and basically made it perfect along these uh, these guardrails here on the Colosseum, just like that. So now I'm gonna come up to the navigator and move this over and we'll see how it does here. Looks like there was a little bit of artifacting there. I don't know if you could even tell, but it did fix that. Come down here and you can really see it there. And I'm guessing it'll make quite a difference in here as well. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, that looks a lot better right there. 
Good. That looks good. Come over here, do the same thing. All right. And I <clears throat> earlier I saw a little piece up here that probably needs to be fixed. Draw along this and fix that. <clears throat> And now uh, you can go along the top if you'd like. See what it does up there. I probably need, from here I need to refine the mask a little bit more because you can see it's making some lines through the sky. So you can just keep hitting Command Z to delete that and then go back and refine your mask. But I think from here you get the basic premise of, of what this program is capable of. So I hit Command Zero to zoom out. And you can see now that this is my after result. So I can go back over to layers. And then from here, I could make any more changes that I'd like. So uh, that's all for now and thanks for watching.